Hello everyone, here is a ChatGPT code for Tetris and um, I want to go through the code and um, do sort of the code review. The motivation for me is uh, hopefully to teach you what kind of pitfalls and like what is the proper way to write the code because it's robot generated, hopefully robot would not be offended by my criticism. Let's uh, open the code and uh, let's start uh, from from top to bottom. Global variables, of course, it's preferable not to use global variables. There is a no easy way to fix this thing uh, right now without like a, a lot of uh, refactoring. But main, uh, main idea is uh, probably to have a class game and put all of this stuff in that class. And probably later on I will do this consts naming is uh, it's uh, preferable not to have uh, all capital variables like uh, this naming style for variables and the reason is it's uh, C++ code and there is a lot of macro and macro usually in these styles it may create the collision because macro does not have namespaces it does not have scopes so it's just polluting the global namespace so you may have sometimes collisions with this thing. So this thing better to have in um, different naming style. What I like to do is camel case string inflection. Yeah, inflection camel case. Uh, this case, we are going to convert all of this in the this style. Block size, let's do same thing. Screen width, screen height, field width. Field height. And last thing, FPS. Determine shapes. I'm not sure what all these numbers mean, which is uh, exactly what, <laughs> which is bad. I'm guessing this is the um, coordinates one, three, five, seven. I assuming it's um, it should be maybe x and y coordinates one, three, five, seven, right? And z is um, two, four, five, seven. Ah, okay, so it's zero based. Let's uh, fire GIMP and uh, see. We have one three. It is um, adding two. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, okay. Look at this. One three five seven. It's a vertical thing. And then two four five seven. Two four five seven. It's a Z shape. Three five four six. Three five four six. It's another Z. Three five four seven. Three five four seven. It's a T shape. Two three five seven. Two three five seven. It's this shape. Three five seven six. Three five seven six. It's a L shape. Our one on J shape. Two three four five. Two three four five. It's not very clear what all these numbers, what the meaning of all these numbers. Not sure what we can do with this. I'll keep it as is. So another thing is uh, better not to use C style arrays. C++ have pretty good version of the array, which calls array. And uh, we can just use it. Array, array of arrays. And this one is um, seven, four, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The problem here is probably we need to initialize it like this. This is the preferred way to have a race in C++. The reason is um, you can pass it into the function and uh, it's it just uh, have a type because like um, our one is just a pointer in terms of it's like a stronger typing. Same thing here. So we can um, just call it 
std array of std array int field with field height. Right. Default initialization. Um, I do not know if it's automatically populated in array or not. That's a good uh, question. I do not know. So here is it. I think um, this is uh, this is fine, but um, I, I don't think it's um, it too bad code. It's just um, not common to do this way. So probably we need to have a struct separately. And this one is again array x and y right coordinates probably it's better to have type and call it tetramino tetramino and it would be array of points and we will have four points like this and we will have tetramino current tetramino first of all it's just uh, easier to read the code we have types score variable color for tetramino tetramino colors again this can be a array stand array color seven color honestly i i did not mention uh, this thing but there is a rule there is like a very old blog post it's called a uh, triple a rule almost always auto i do not know why it's uh, did not become kind of a standard in C++. I use this rule and uh, it's just did not become mainstream. It's called um, AAA rule, almost always auto. And uh, based on this rule in C++, you would not need to do explicit type here, right? Like you can just type auto here and it would become int because uh, you initialized this thing like this right now let's go with this rule it's a kind of uh, hard to criticize because not too many people doing this way and uh, there is a some backlash around this thing some people believe it's not good to use auto everywhere i'm believer i uh, think it makes code way better and way easier to understand and read and uh, also make it um, safer in this case you also have to do auto and uh, you can just do it this way and it's gonna work it's exactly same it's generates exactly same c++ code but but it looks better i guess so let's do same thing here here you kind of have to pre-populate the width and height but yeah it, it just you just swapped in the tramino and yeah so there is no difference at all. It's just uh, just a rule. <laughs> just follow this rule, right? You can keep it. There is a, like a no too much advantage. It's just like a, more about consistency. Um, same thing. O to here and um, O to here. So now nice part here. You do not need to specify the dimension of the array. It's kind of um, automatically inferred. So if you want to add more colors, you just can add it without updating the um, dimensions dimensions of the array. So see, it's uh, it's compiling no problem. Auto here. So next tetramino auto equals and it's um this one is tetramino right? Tetramino next tetramino type. Here's it um, tetramino types. I think it's probably fine here let's keep it as as is right now i think we need to do better the problem is it's an integer and it's um determiner type it would be better to embed this information in the type and i was thinking maybe it's uh it should be enum but it may add a little bit more problems in the code because um, there is a very simple way to generate here the termino type. Yeah, we will to do. We will think about this thing later on. Pretty sure there is a better way to do uh, this thing. This is not going to be changed. It's better to call it const. We are not going to change colors, right? So it's better to call it const. Function prototypes. So all these functions are can be called from our c++ 
files. Right now we have only main.cpp, but it's better to call it static. So then you call it static. They would not pollute the uh, global namespace and they would be, you would be able to call them only from this main.cpp file. So if you would uh, have even our file, you would not be able to do this thing and it will not go into linker and linker will not take this thing in consideration. So one way it's to do it, mark them static or another way is um, put them in unnamed namespace. So, uh, so it's um, your preference. So you can do it this way or uh, you can mark them static. I kind of prefer to mark them static. I don't know why. I just like static. So I, I think unnamed namespace is um, another good way to do things. In the spirit almost always auto, I like to call these functions, declare functions in the that way as well and put auto here. I need to delete semicolons here. So function declaration as well have like a start with auto. Check collision, rotate tetramino, check lines, render text. <clears throat> so there is um, this part because uh, we can see the parameter type is font and uh, I like not to duplicate words like a, this, this is enough information to know we are passing font to function. Why we typing font here again? It's uh, it's burden to reader of the code because they would need to read it twice, and it's a burden to the writer of the code. They have to type it twice without any benefits. Just don't put f name here. Like a message here is um, makes sense because like we are sending message, but like here is it. There is no reason. Same thing here we passing SDL color, what the reason to say like we know we are passing color. It's like a, sometimes probably we, we would not need to have more information is for example if we're passing two colors right like a, and it's like a foreground color and background color but it's like a color of the text so there is no reason to do these things. We don't need to. X and Y so things are looking good here. Yeah and here is it like a I actually did this thing, chat GPT, make it like this. It, and that's actually was giving the warning. You can see there is a yellow line saying it's not used. And um, instead of deleting it, I actually comment them. And the reason is because it's not clear like what is integer parameter. And we need to know its number of arguments. And this is the vector of arguments. Uh, array of arguments. So this is a function almost always auto and I return int here. This function is fine except comment is redundant like uh, initialize is dl2 and like a next function is dl init. It's just extra thing to, to read so we can remove this thing. is dl init video, is dl init error, is dl get error. This is fine. Initialize DLTTF, same thing, and TTF in it, we already have. I do not know why chat GPT made it this way. I would test to, to zero. Maybe TTF in it returns. Um, let's check on internet, TTF in it. Yeah, return zero on success, minus one on error. Let's check for success, not equal zero. I think it's better gone. Get error, so things are fine here. Load font. This comment is fine because this is the this block of the. I don't know if it's fine or not. I probably I would. I don't like comments. <laughs> <laughs> Open font error. TTF quit is DL quit. This is good. So this is kind of burden. There is a techniques to avoid this thing. What I did, I made the SDLPP library, which is. Uh, taking care of removing this. Of course, ChatGPT did not know about this library existing, so it's just doing what it's common for in C, and um, we are using C libraries, so kind of 
there is not too much good options out of box so i think um we just need to do this thing it's fine as like a better way is to have the wrapper right have a wrapper and um, create is dl window so again we can just put auto here screen width screen height is dl window open gl things fine this is fine quit quit creating open gl context almost always auto initialize open gl plus six yeah this one is um filled with there is a six here so this is magic number it's not good to have magic numbers so this six is um score area with i guess const auto score or um so there is a play area right and we need to give a name for this thing like a info area with equals six i don't know how to find the six now and the reason is now we if we want to have this area wider we just update it here in one place and it's automatically will extend everything without finding six everywhere which is really hard as you can see so it's a lot of changes here okay so i think i found everything seed random i never did so maybe chat gpt can teach, teach me something i i never did static cast here i don't think we need to do it <coughs> unsigned in seed time it returns time t i guess maybe it makes sense or uh, maybe it's a uh, bit uh more correct con game loop variables auto i do not know why chatgpt picked uh uin32 here maybe it's oh yeah get ticks so we, what we can do <coughs> we can do like this so we do not need to guess the type of the get ticks and uh, here we can just put auto because get ticks returns so we do not need to go into documentation and learn sdl get ticks returns uint32 uh, we can just ask compiler to return type for, for us okay so this is initial initialization of the tetramino i do not know why we have two lines here we can just do it like this yeah the, this is the magic number which i kind of uh, figured it's a two yeah i do not know right now what to do with this thing it's a little bit confusing but like if you think about a little bit you may understand but i would probably prefer to have cleaner cone and always always almost auto i like to do pre increment plus plus i and the reason is uh, this operator returns the value this one returns value after you incremented things this one returns before you incremented things it's extra step because uh, plus plus i what what happens it's just a uh, increment i and return i i plus plus it does temp equals i in i return temp of course compilers right now generate absolutely identical code because we are not assigning to anything but just semantically it's one step longer and there is a like a wasting value of something so i prefer to do plus plus i here but it's fine if somebody does uh, this thing for integers it's going to generate exactly same assembly code next tetramino oh yeah this is for next tetramino not do it in two steps and um, next tetramino type what is this thing oh it's placing the tetramino on the center of the field so main game loop while running start time what i don't think it's used outside right so like const auto yeah let's put it inside the while loop and second make it const so we know it's yeah it's not changing it's the delay sdl delay okay event handling so pulling events if quit running equals false so it could be switch i think it's also doesn't matter too much uh, i think it's fine to do this construction i personally do would do switch maybe 
but this thing I think it's totally fine so do keys I think it's just um, easier to read I think it's just easier to read. Old position. Yeah, so here we go. This is one of benefits why arrays are preferred because you can just copy arrays. Old position, we can just say equals current tetra mino. Because uh, it's stead array, we can just copy it. And again, we do not need we it's it's typed of tetra mino, but we can just do auto here and um, we can const it as well we saved all position and here we go check collision and we just restore it same thing it's very simple like this you can see our code is becoming easier to read left current check tetramino again restoring is very simple like this if collision happened if collision happened okay what else we can do yeah let's do plus plus i and again auto here what we can do here we can iterate because this one is an um, array we do not need to use this magic number we can iterate through tetramina blocks current tetramina subtract one like this and here we add one auto b current tetramino bx key up down button mm. delay timing so yeah there is a um, again 550 magic numbers so oh, there is a 500 assigned here. Yeah, I don't. Oh, what happened? Hmm. Ah, while pulling it, uh, so yeah, so this is the, we need one more closing, yep. There is another thing, I just like to have very m minimalistic on, if I do not need to type, I would not type, and here is it, this curly brackets it's it's not big deals like if if somebody said like oh you have to put it i i would not be against but it's just my personal preference there is nothing i just like that way timing still ticks greater than delay ticks timer what is the timer every iteration is looking for delay and um, if we reset timer right okay I think it's fine cone uh, mutu termina down we can uh, do it this way current tetramino b plus plus okay check collisions I think this one probably better to put on the top the reader of the code would not need to scroll down and try to understand this like it's concise it's here move the tremina down and if collision happened we move the tremina back up so just copy paste this code and put minus minus here I guess we can we could do just the same technique with saving tetramina it's both way i think it's um both way fine i guess saving tetramina is uh, slightly better because if we would um, 
change moving down tetramino you know maybe it's going to do, go down in wavy way, way, way or something we need to update this algorithm so i think just um, saving tetramino and uh, the name was like a person like like old position yeah i guess old position is fine let's call it old position const auto old position equals current tetramino restoring it current tetro tetromino equals old position now this is copying tetraminos in the field and we can do instead of this array we can do no right and b b see this we need this command and like if like i cannot delete this command i can delete this command and it would be more or less clear what we are doing we cannot delete this command because we're doing some magic here and it's not very good what we could do we could populate field with anyways and the problem is rising from very beginning i was questionable about type i do not know why i put i should put to do here right and th this is biting us right now if we would have type and we would have empty or something that would be fine and we we pu putting the jack just because we want to have colors Anyways, I think I'll leave it as is right now, but you you can see why I was kind of questioning why, like, uh, should we say do an uh, integer here? So, anyways, generate next tetramino. So next tetramino type is populating. Hmm. Ah oh, wait. Yeah. Um. So we we'll lock the tetramino. Check lines after locking the current tetramino. Replace the current tetramino with the next tetramino. Current tetramino. Next tetramino. And uh, this code is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> what we should do. I mean, it's, it does work, but it's it's wrong. Block, and then we uh, actually this this code was right, but I would do this way. Assign next tetramino, assign first, and then um, iterate through current tetramino, and uh, add. Yeah, I'll do it like this. And command would go here, center tetramino. And this is the B. Yeah, like this. So generate next tetramino. I don't know why ChatGPT is doing this way. I guess it's for this, maybe. Then auto plus plus I. Yeah, and uh, this code is duplicated code. So in this case, might it might be okay because it's duplicated twice and there is not too many lines, but it's definitely code duplication. So we we may just put it in the function and it would be better. Check collisions. Game over. Okay. Adjust delay based on level. Mm. 
this is completely wrong. I think it should be like this. A static cost. <laughs> yeah, this is a um, duplicated code again, but I think this is the right way. Rendering, so we just iterate field. Yeah, magic number again here, not good. We'll figure out what to do. This is the nested uh, loop, which um, iterates through field and we can um, iterate. Mm -hmm. I Yeah, I don't think we... J tetramino type color. Yeah, I think this this code is fine. Just just go with my preferences with this code is fine. Roll current tetramino. Tetramino colors. Current color. P. Current tetramino. P. Set the dark gray, disable textures, blending. Oh, did we enable it somewhere? Draw background rectangle preview area. So this is the preview area. Oh, okay. So I call it info area. Maybe for consistency with the, let's call it also preview area. Rectangle white, draw vertical lines as a border, so it's drawing border here. Const auto, const auto, const auto, auto p next tetromino. So we put P here and um, const auto rectangle text color score render text. So this text color used only one, uh, twice, so it's fine. We can just plop it here and same here. Swap window frame rate control, frame rate, frame time, and um, we just do delay. Okay, and clean up. We do not need to re do return zero because it's a my main function and um, it's fine. You can return zero. I just like to not to put what we do not need to put <laughs> and we do not need to put return zero. So why, why I should put it? So let's delete it. Check uh, for collisions, right? Auto check collisions. Well, let's see. It's um, iterating through tetraminus and checking if it's um, outside of the range. If it's outside, it's collision. Then it goes through field. And yeah, so we would do current tet 
Romino then put P here P here P P this is integer and uh, zero means no nothing so like uh, it's better to do explicitly even like we do not need to do this thing but I don't like integers check integers implicitly I do booleans I do pointers implicit check I do other things like a file for example streams but integers the reason why I do not like integers because quite often zero means uh, true for example if I do auto r equals open if open returns zero um, open is a bad example there is a bunch of POSIX functions they return zero which zero means it's good so this is why I don't like to do implicit checking for integers because usually integer value of zero means it's good and something not zero means bad but yeah I think the, the that code is fine I just not liking it too much <laughs> and yeah so this is the check for collisions rotating tetramino okay center of rotation so let's call it center in and in this case we call it center we do not need to have uh, as we can call it rot center we can call it even rotation center I mean it's like a probably center is fine anyways so in this case let's do it like this can have const auto for this now we can iterate current tetramino yep oh almost always auto check lines field height lines cleared I goes through field height oh it's like a killing two birds with one stone so it's uh, clearing uh, as well hmm lines clear I think we could do like this so in this case yeah and we would not need k yeah I think that that's better one variable less there is another thing it's called um, immediately in uh, vote function expression yeah so it's it's coming from JavaScript good thing you can do same same thing in um, C++ so the reason is it's better to have cost variables and here's it with counting them and after the counting we can use them while we are using here it's essentially become const we not going to touch line line clear but like we can accidentally touch them one thing and there is another thing we cannot reason we know we counted here but who knows do we do some additional counting here if source code is 
big. It's better to market cons, but we cannot market cons because we cannot increment things here. What we can do, we can create the unnamed function lambda at the end, call it immediately. We can do R here as its uh, result, right? And return it here. So in this case, we know like it's constant in this part of the code nobody would be able to modify it and if we will try to modify compiler will yell at us right it's it says it's const cannot assign to variable lines cleared with const qualified type constant right so this is the good way to deal with that problem so it's a yeah it's a good thing <laughs> same thing we can do counting number of blocks in the row we can do const auto count equals equals and um, here so this is r um it's gonna be r because it's r2 i guess um R2, R2, um, let's capture things here, I guess, we can capture by value, and return R2. We are modifying here, field, it's a global variable, so we can do this thing, this is why, hmm. Yeah, this is another uh, reason why global variables are not good. <laughs> you can modify them from everywhere, even from Lambda. Okay, I think it's it's fine for now. Lines cleared. So there is a, one more thing is um, early returns. So like uh, as soon as we know we do not need to do anything, we can just return and then we can call this thing if there is a clear lines and do scores and stuff. So we calculated number of cleared lines and then if it's uh, nothing cleared, we are doing math here. Okay, so text rendering surface so we can make it auto blend text just a known pixel format free okay texture it's also not advisable to use um, C style casting because C style casting catch them all style and um, its uh, rules are so confusing it's better not to use it <laughs> like it can do this this and this and this and in this case it's do this it's it's so confusing it's better not to do it even like in this case it's probably fine because like a C++ type system is quite complicated it can be reference it can be it can have const and um, and all these permutations with uh, stuff and there is a like implicit uh, conversion like integers can go to float float can go to double or like uh, multiple types of integers can go different ways and uh, enums uh, and all this stuff so like it's better to explicitly say what you want to do you want to do static cast okay so we went through all this gone uh, let's see if it's compiles and runs <laughs> let's open run it in the debugger
Oh, look at this. It's uh, it's compiled and runs. Let's see if uh, lines are clearing. Oh, it's crashed. Oh, it says game over. Check collision. Mm. Current tetramino, so this part. Current tetramino. Next tetramino. Iterating through current tetramino, adjusting X. And then collision fails. Hmm. Check lines. Hmm. I'm not sure what's going on. So this one is working. It's just like a something something wrong with check lines. Check lines did something bad. Okay. Lines cleared. Um, should it go? Should be plus here. Ah, sign was wrong. Okay. So let's see how it's handle free. Yeah, it's working. So it's exactly the same cone. I think there is a, some minor uh, differences, but uh, this is the diff. Instead of uh, using C style array, we use array. We did auto everywhere. We change the capitalization. So here is it. There is an array. Yeah. So let's uh, go and try to fix global variables. One way is uh, make the class. Let's make the class game. I don't think it's a good idea to call class game but anyways and uh, unfortunately we cannot do auto here so this is the field cannot do auto so Temp tetramino. What is the temp tetramino? It's not used. Okay. So current tetramino. Score. I think. What we can do, struct tetramino, and it would have uh, points, and um, let's do type for now, current tetramino type, current tetramino, so we would not we do not need this variable anymore and that uh, romino next that romino so we do not need this these functions would become members i guess um Render text. Um, 
let's keep render text like this right a game game uh, it should be like this current tetramino type so this we can put um, in uh, in the constructor game would have constructor and uh, current tetramino dot it can be this constructor tetramino type and um, points And what we need to do, we just need to shift current tetramino. So we just iterate out current tetramino dot points p dot x plus equal and. Uh, Yeah, and this one is type next tetramino is generated automatically in the constructor right current tetramino as well and we just need to shift it to put it in the center um, of the um, field okay okay So this code we can um, up left right down let's add um, functions up left right down left right down down <laughs> um naming is hard down button down down button up up button would do this So left button would do this. Hmm, why you're not happy? Ah, uh, points. Ah, no, points should go here, dot points. So left button, right button is... Uh, plus plus here and down button down actually I do not need to do this thing probably game dot up button game dot left button game dot right button so we need to know delay auto delay um, 
decal type get sdl get ticks and it's const and this is the delay game dot delay return okay move the tramino down let's not do left right let's not have buttons the reason is because um, I want to move it down here move to the termino down this gone game dot down and probably we can return boolean here and we can say if not down running equals false points dot type current tetramino type um, so we can just copy it like this dot points and uh, next tetramino we can just and uh, no duplicated cone nice return false return true Let's make um, all this stuff public for now so we can render things. Game. game 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 this this hopefully things are going to uh current tetramino points game ah so here we do game dot delay Okay, things are still working.
Uh, uh. <laughs> Skoro. Uh. Ok. Levels are working. Um, let's see. Losing condition. Yeah. No more to do's. Yeah, so I'm not very happy with the Tramina shapes, but um, it is what it is for now. Um, so Tetraminos are, you know, maybe, maybe I should. Oh yeah, they do populate it automatically, automatically as well. So this thing can go um, here, and actually it can go in the private section. Um, static const stellary. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't want to. It's um, it's okay. So they are uh, as well polluting the namespace, so it's better to uh, put static here. So they would not pollute um, global namespace and all this stuff. I'm debating is it better to do this way? I guess it's less um, indenting so probably it's better. So if there is a no collision, we just, that's it, we're good. If there is a collision, we do something extra. Yeah, that, I think it makes sense. And you know, we now, <laughs> we can easily restart the game. So, um, dot down, right, and instead of this we can just say game equals game and it will restart the game yep and it just restart the game score clear uh, let's see level one right so score 40 and uh, now I'm going to lose score is going to be clear Oop, yeah So um, this thing bothers me a little. Oh, not this one. Um, where is it? Anyways, but I think um, this right now is way better. Of course, it's way better. I think it's pretty good approximation for the Tetris. Um, there is a not too much functionality changed. It just um, st style change in the style. Um, should be no pointer here. So naming maybe move down, move up, like a name should be probably um, rotate, move left, move right, move down. I guess this is better names. Rotate, move left, move right. Move down. Yeah, I think um, it's pretty way better than it's been. I think it's easier to read. 
right um block size preview area width so we can change the preview area screen width uh, screen height so we can make it 10 and it should become 10 yeah so we've got more space or we can get less space we can make it free and there is less space no problem so I think 4 is sweet spot yeah I guess not too much sweet spot because um, score is going to be quite a lot <laughs> um, will take a lot of space anyways let's let's put box six um, FPS Yeah, this can be better. Um, I think it's fine for now. Do. Okay, I think it's pretty good. Uh, code review and clean up the code. Oh, let's see what my AI um, git commit message will generate. Yeah, code review and clean up the code. Code review and clean up the code. Okay, thank you for watching and um, see you next time. Bye.